Grave Fencer Musashi. Well, now that we've beaten the game, let's go ahead and load up our completed save to see what the post game has in store for us. Let's do it. It's not really much, but still. Well, will you look at that. We, uh, came back to the village, and we've been taken to the point before we left to go get the Sky Scroll. Weirdly enough, we have all our items from when we were in Soda Fountain. But, uh, that's not important. What is important is that the toy store is open. Let's go find out what new toys are on sale. Hello. So we have all of Series 6 available to us, so let's go ahead and get that. And we have most of the special toys available to us now. Starting with John and Leno, we unlock this one by opening every chest in the game. Next is Dark Lumina 1, which we unlock by simply beating the game. And then Dark Lumina 2, which we unlock by beating the game at level 30. And there's one more toy that we can't get yet. However, it unlocks once we have all of the other toys, uh, bought. So, to make it available to us, we simply just have to leave the store and re-enter. Hello. And now we can buy Dark Lumina 3. And with that, we have officially done 100% of the game. So, if we were to beat the game again, something special will happen at the end. <laughs> Don't get so upset, my child. By the way, who is that little person over there? Oh, him? He saved my life. Saved your life? You don't mean that something happened while we were away? Uh, n nothing happened, right, Ripson? Um, yes, um... Other than the princess's party, it doth be very peaceful every day. See? Princess, I'm gonna go return this. Back in a flash. All right, Musashi. Be careful. <laughs> That's Lumina, the sword of luminescence. Oh, gracious me. And the name Musashi. You cannot be. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. His eyes are turned red. Ain't that spooky? Ooga, booga, booga. Nah, I'm just messing with you. It actually comes at the end, after the credits. And we're treated to this image here. Perfect! Well, that's better than what I was actually expecting. Which was nothing. But, uh, after this you'll be asked to save, and if you load your save again, you'll notice that the fin is colored red. So this first ability you can actually get at the start of the game, and it's these, uh, bee plants here.
and the ability that we got was Perfume. It uh, creates a barrier that reduces damage, and it reduces damage by about a little over 50%, judging by the numbers, and it'll last for about 30 seconds. Now this could be useful, however, it's only available in two different places, here and the meandering forest section where you have to guide Leno to the graveyard, which is not a really ideal place to put that ability because because all the enemies are aggroed onto Leno, not you, so it doesn't really help you out here. And they are nowhere else in the game, period. So the next one is this mushroom that puts you asleep when it attacks you. And the ability that we got was Sleepy. What it basically does is that it puts us in our most fatigued state and eventually we'll fall asleep. But there is one upside to this. While you're in this state, no enemies are gonna attack you. In fact, they're all asleep. Which I guess could have some use. I mean, it's... A weird gimmick, but I, I don't really see any practical use out of this ability. But it's neat, I guess. And eventually you'll just fall asleep right where you're standing. <laughs> this next one's in the mines. And it involves this other mushroom that poisons you when it attacks you. And the ability that we got was Toxic, and we'll feel temporary poisoned. Not just that, but we'll also fall asleep immediately. So, this ability is just straight up useless because it poisons you and it puts you to sleep. So there's really no reason to have this. But since we're poisoned, now is as good a time as any to go check out Father White and see if he can heal us from our poison. Good afternoon, my son. Yeah, yeah, we already heard this part. Come on. Oh crud, I'm already poisoned again as soon as I left the church. This last one is actually at the Frozen Palace, and it involves a slow guy here. And the ability that he has is Hurl. Just hit the circle button while you're holding something, and you will throw it into the stratosphere. Like so. Which is a pretty cool ability, I just didn't have uh, an opportunity to show it off. Oh, Sir Musashi! Oh, Sir Musashi, been waiting for you. The knights of this palace have no battle experience. That's why all this happened. Did you know that seven tasters died before Taster Salmonelli was hired? Weaver Dinneret is in love with Carpenter Dicey. Can you believe it? Shepherd Beefalo and Hawker Steakwood are having a tiff. I wonder what happened. Stuart Ripson and Alchemist Leanman are brothers. Ripson must be proud of him. 
Goodbye. Come back soon.